Good day folks, I'm Mick Van Sale from Ironman 4x4. Let's take a quick look at the dual battery management and electrical installation in Dion's new dual cab 4x4 Ranger. What we've done is we've taken the window box out of his old vehicle and put it straight into the new vehicle as is. The reason we've done that is because, most importantly, Dion likes the way that we've set this up. Even though it's four years old, he's very comfortable with working with it and we've decided to not change uh, anything on it and just use it as is. The important thing to note about any dual battery installation is that the main battery is there to start the vehicle. No power is to be drawn from that main battery at any stage. And that is why we have these battery management systems. It's to ensure that when you're camping, that power is only supplied for all your camping needs from your auxiliary battery. And the management and charging of that auxiliary battery is key. If the auxiliary battery starts going flat, you lose battery power for refrigeration, for lighting, and that just, you know, just spoils your camp. Now traditionally the auxiliary battery is mounted under the bonnet of the vehicle. It's a hot, hostile environment. There's also a fair distance between the battery and the items that are drawing the power. Your fridge, your lighting, and you can experience a voltage drop, which is an issue. So we prefer to mount the battery here at the back of the vehicle. It's close to the electrics, it's close to the items that are drawing power from it, and there's no risk of voltage drop. So when overlanding, you have a requirement for refrigeration, you have a requirement for lighting, and in some instances like us, you have a requirement for clean power to charge batteries of sensitive equipment like cameras, laptops, iPads, and that type of stuff. That power is drawn from your auxiliary battery. So charging that battery and keeping it charged is key. While you're driving, the charging of that battery happens from the alternator of the vehicle, and it happens by means of the DC to DC charger. It takes power from the main battery, which is fed by the alternator, and it charges your second battery. But as soon as you stop your vehicle and you switch the vehicle off, that charging stops and your battery is now being consumed. If you happen to be at a campsite where there is 220 volt power, you want to be able to harness that power to charge this battery again. What we do here is we use then an AC, which is your shore power, AC to DC charger. That'll then charge the battery. We've also set the vehicle up in such a way that when that power is plugged in, it then powers the fridge and the fridge is not running through the battery. And by the way, the Ironman fridges will dual switch at any time. If you've got 12 volt running into it and 220 volt, it'll use the 220 volt. And if you just pull that plug out, it'll automatically switch over to the 12 volt power, which is a very handy feature. If you're at a campsite where there is no power and you'd like to use solar panels, you need to be able to plug your solar panels into the system as well to keep the battery charged. And for that, we use a solar controller. Now you'll notice that it's very colorful inside this box and that's because we use a couple of products which are not Ironman products but they're certainly endorsed by Ironman 4x4. These blue boxes are Victron Energy, it's a Dutch company and they make very high quality power management systems. They're not only used for four wheel driving, they're used in domestic and industrial solar charging, they're used in high end yachting, they're used in high end uh, overland RV vehicles, so very high quality product. And what we like about these products as well is that they're very, very efficient. There's very little power loss in the solar units and in the inverters. What we have over here is our switch box. It features the 220 volt plug points. Those are connected to the inverter and to the shore power, depending on which one you're using. These circuit breakers are a safety feature. If you're using camp power and the power is unstable and there are power spikes, this will prevent any damage to the electrical system. The switch over switch is very simple. If you're using the inverter, switch it that way and these plug points are then powered 220 volt clean pure sine wave power by the inverter. Switch it the other way when you're using the campsite power. The last item in Dion's setup here is this Victron Energy monitoring system. It is their top of the range monitoring system. It features app compatibility so you can be lying in your rooftop tent at night checking on the condition of charge, checking on the condition of your batteries. It's very important. It comes with low level alarms and it really keeps you on top of your battery management. I can't stress it enough folks, battery management is key. A flat battery means no refrigeration and nobody likes a warm gin and tonic. A gin and tonic without ice is pure sacrilege. All that's left for us to do now is to mount the battery in the back, connect it up to our electronics up here and run our feed from the front. All fused of course with the right gauge of wiring and then she'll be good to go. So I'll get out of the way now and let the lads get into it.